So uh, even today we'll continue the topic of the IBP planning area architecture. Right. So we talked about unified planning area concept. And from SAP terminology perspective, it is SAP IBP one. Basically, this is kind of a building block, uh, ready reckoner, what SAP has provided, looking at the best practices uh, followed for SNOP, right? That means it would cover uh, under the umbrella of this unified planning area, we will, we will have predefined attributes. We will have predefined master data types. attributes assigned to don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos MDTs we will have planning levels and we will have key figures each key figure will have Base planning level assignment. Now, we also talked about whenever we start creating a planning area for any specific client or business, SAP has provided an option to refer the unified planning area and copy it to the uh client specific planning area right so what are the options available while doing this copy right that we'll cross check first maybe i just go back and so you remember we went into the sample model entities app within the web ui where the unified planning area was displayed and when we click on copy you will see options available right Whenever you are creating a new planning area as such, option one, you can create it without a copy reference. Okay, You can start from scratch. That option is always there. But in order to get the reference provided by SAP, we can copy the unified planning area. While copying the unified planning area, there are multiple options available. Okay, We will go to the common used options here. If you see from the create perspective, there are two options. One is create new planning area, including the dependencies. Okay. So whenever we create a planning area and cl click on that copy and use an option of create with new with dependencies, system will ask us what is the name of the target planning area we want to provide. So which, which is called as a new, new ID, right? And it copies all the master data types and the time profile of the base planning area, okay, of the reference planning area. That means it all it copies all the reference and create a new planning area, planning area with a new ID. Okay, it is as good as your SAP IBP1 planning area with a new name, client specific name. Okay, while doing that it copies all the dependencies, meaning that if the, uh, the unified planning area has different attributes, different master data types, uh, different planning levels, different key figures, uh, also it has predefined focus models, all those objects also get copied, okay? Another option came up recently, uh, and got renamed as create new by partial copy. So over the period, <clears throat> I mean, there was a learning, right? When we copied this and created a new planning area with all those set of dependencies, probably a feedback came to SAP saying that we do not require all those dependencies to be copied, right? It becomes a huge planning area for us. And maybe from our usage perspective, we are only going to use few functionalities, right? So can you give us an option of creating a planning area with a reference, but with specific partial copy option, right? So with this 
specific partial copy option, you can also create a planning area with a new ID, including time profile and the objects like attributes within those master data types or planning levels. But it also gives you option, opportunity to filter out your key figures and attributes which are related to your applications. Now application in the sense, you, you only want to use this for SN2P and demand perspective, right? So you can choose those applications and only those key figures re related to SN2P or demand planning will get copied instead of the entire dependencies, right? This way, you can keep your client specific planning area comparatively lean. Right, because it doesn't have the entire unnecessary dependencies got copied over. Right, uh, I'll take a pause here and see if there is any question. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Right, now these are the two commonly used options, but let's go through the other options also. When you say partially merge with existing, maybe you already have a target planning area and then you want to merge some of the content from your SAP IBP and planning area into this uh, target planning area. So you can merge the, uh, you can use the merge option, right? Uh, with, again, those specific filters, what we talked about for partial copy. Similarly, you can merge the entire dependencies uh, from the uh, uh, source planning area, and you can combine those two planning areas into a single planning area. That is also possible, right? And then there is another option which called as replace. I mean, you had created a planning area, but you want to replace with existing one, right? So that, that option is also available. Update the target planning area based on the source planning area by keeping the ID of the target planning area, right? So only ID is left as is from the target planning area, but the entire content of the target planning area is replaced by from the source one, right? And then the last option will be again replaced, even including the dependencies. So the dependencies will also get overwritten. Okay, mostly as a fresh implementation, you will go with either option one or option two. Create new with dependencies, create new by partial copy. Uh, Sam, uh, one question from my yeah. side. In option number two, uh, if suppose I choose option number two and after, uh, I mean, after a few days, I realize that few of the key figures are missing. So can we add it uh, in existing uh, copy or we can get it from uh, SAP itself? Uh, you can add it in the existing copy, right? Okay. So, so in uh, in normal uh, implementation, what you'll see is you will copy by creating uh, using the partial copy option. And then during the requirement gathering sessions, you will realize that you need some more key figures to be created. You, anyway, you need additional planning levels to be created and so on, right? That you will keep on adding into your existing planning area. So that time you may not, probably you may not require any reference copy, et cetera. Then in that case is probably you identify, okay, there are 50 additional key figures to be created. You will create those separately in your existing planning area. 